Alright guys, this is a 2016 Chevrolet Equinox. Has a 2.4 liter Ecotec motor. Um, we were getting the P0011, P0010 uh, fault codes. Uh, got them on the scanner. And 9 times out of 10, the culprit is going to be these two actuators right here. Um, we got brand new ones. We're getting ready to replace those. One there, outside, and purple on the inside, and that's a two 10 millimeter bolts. Okay, one more thing too. Um, these are aftermarket. They're marked. The black ones exhaust. The gray ones intake, and you can't really mix them up because on the insides they pl the plugs are different. All right, that's just one more thing to take note of. Put some clean oil around that uh, O-ring. Uh, basically the same concept as if you're changing your motor oil and you're getting ready to put the filter back on. You want to put a little bit of oil on the uh, seal on the oil filter. Uh, same thing applies to this. Uh, you don't want to pinch that uh, O-ring. Um, then you're going to have leaks. All right, these new ones, when you get ready to put them back in, sometimes you go in they're not just gonna drop in place because that's a new O-ring. Like I said, you're gonna put oil on it. Um, also, do not just sit it down on the uh, top of the head and run the screw down because a lot of times the flange that the bolts tack to, attached to will bend and this will not be seated in the position that it needs to be in. And you're gonna get a leak, so get you a uh, some cardboard like this put it on top of your connector and lightly tap with a small hammer just enough to make it go down and seat that's it I'm gonna say it again lightly tap don't bang on it you're gonna break this that's plastic why. Then you got to buy a new one you just waste the money all right okay they're back in uh, rule of thumb, do an inspection of your engine. Look at your hoses, plastic pieces, pl hose connectors, O-rings, wiring harnesses if you can see them. Um, take a moment, clean that throttle body if you want to. Look at your wiring, just kind of once over your motor, see if anything's leaking. Uh, look at the hoses in the rear, uh, make sure your master cylinder is not leaking. Just kind of check your stuff out. Being ahead of the game on your vehicle gives you less of a chance to be stranded side of the road. Uh, something I was taught by my father and I believe in that wholeheartedly. All right, we're getting ready to use torque and uh, OBD2 scanner. And we're gonna uh, clear the codes. Connected to OBD. All right, we got them cleared out. Okay, um, I already can tell a huge difference. Um, uh, as soon as you started the vehicle and you could hear it lurching uh, while I was idling. Now, uh, we went to put it in gear and give it gas to accelerate, it would just choke off unless you just gunned it. Uh, then it would stay on, but I mean, you can't be driving like that. Um, got plenty of power back. Sounds really good. Uh, pull strong, well, <laughs> strong for this little 2.4 wheeler. <laughs> she's back like she's supposed to be now. So uh, we can write this down in the logbook.
write the mileage down and um, keep track of how these things are doing. Uh, everything else looks good up under the hood. Uh, no noises, nothing sounds crazy. Uh, transmission working like it should. Uh, but that is it, guys. I'm uh, gonna wrap this one up. Um, stay tuned to the channel, like I said. Still got a lot of stuff coming. Uh, got a lot of projects in the works. Got uh, a lot of new stuff gonna be coming to the channel. Uh, stay tuned if you keep up with it. Um, still gonna be doing a lot of Mugen uh, Magnus superhero content. So, gonna watch out for that too. All right, but that is it, guys. This has been Magnus. Peace. See you next time. Bye.